Hi everybody, today's video is a 2004 Casita, and what model is it? It is a Casita um, Spirit. A Casita Spirit, okay, and how long is it? 16 feet. 16 feet. All right, so the owner doesn't want to be on camera, so I'm going to show you. Let me show you the outside first, and I apologize for the wind. We just had some rain and got a real windy day here. So this is a molded fiberglass camper, and I'm at a fiberglass rally. So there's the camper, and I'm going to take you inside. So in here, is this two propane tanks? It is. Okay. So we're going to go around here and go in. So there's the air conditioner. It's got some cute dental decorations. This is just like a wardrobe closet. It is. Okay. So several modifications that we've done and I'll move some things. Um, there was a full size bed in the back and that could have been a dinette as well. We cut that down and we did a board instead, a customized mattress to do a twin bed, two custom pillows on either side to open up seating. So you have a twin bed permanently? Permanently. Okay. And then I bought a table that'll fit in the middle, so there's an option for that to have a table. Okay. So you can eat there. We can eat there. There's our TV. It's got cute little decorations in here. Custom curtains, thanks to my aunt. Hopefully you can hear her, everybody. we got to get her to talk louder. <laughs> so up here there's a fantastic fan. And these casitas have carpet on the walls, so that's what you see here. That is actually carpet. That serves as insulation and also for condensation. She's got a bird theme going here because she's got a bird. Let's see a little birdie here. Well, let's see if we can get it on camera. It doesn't seem to like me. It wants to run that is away. monkey. Doesn't want Hi, to be monkey. on camera. <laughs> oh my goodness, monkey. It's okay. So the camper's name is Birdie. Very fitting for the bird theme. For the bird theme. And you have storage here. And show us how those cabinets open, those little push buttons. These are the marine type knobs. And you have storage here. And then in here is your wet bath. You'll have to excuse the use of the wet bath. Is that not adorable? And then that's like a decal on the wall. It makes it look like there's a window in there. You have a functional medicine cabinet. I didn't know they had those. And then the bamboo mat. So that's a wet bath. You get a shower and a toilet in the same area. And then here you have um, a toaster oven up there. And There's a lot of storage in that cabinet. We have a microwave and then this is a modification, just a piece of wood and kind of serve. Oh, so it keeps the cabinet flat. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and a little cutting board. Mm-hmm. And a All hot right. plate. Okay. And then you've got your refrigerator. And then one thing I really do like is cheap and simple as this is from Amazon, it does give you some space to sit things when your sink's not in use. And then you have a stove under there. Two okay. burner stove. And then this did have a um, hood vent. Uh -huh. We remove that to open things up. We don't do a lot of cooking in here. And then space for your dishes. And mm -hmm. then this is just um, like an Ikea type thing. There's a dish drain pan here, a shelf, okay. then your paper towel holder. We replaced the blinds. We painted all the um, cabinetry. This is also a single dinette if we wanted it to be. You have additional Back storage so under see. here. You have storage under here. You have um, Let's see. We so by, by doing the beds like this, you don't have to climb over each other you if don't. you have to get up at night. We prefer to leave it a twin and a twin 
and then we have two French Bulldogs so they can sleep here and here or the bird here and then we can put the small table up here and then we do a lot of our daytime living in the clan. And do the dogs sleep where you want them to sleep? Usually. Okay. But they're small 15 yeah. pound dogs. Okay. Yep. Um, and then we did custom shelving in here. Okay. So that was just one long open cabinet. Exactly. With a bar at the top okay. to hang clothing. So, so this is much better. Much better. Yeah. So that helps with storage. All right. Well, thank you so much. How much does this camper weigh? Um, dry weight with nothing would be about 1,300 pounds. That's not bad at all. Not at all. No. Nope. And this was an 04, and they've really not changed very much over the course of years. They're made in Rice, Texas, and pretty hard to come by. Yeah. You can order them new. I think the wait list is out maybe 18 months from order to getting them brand new. Yeah, I heard yesterday that the scamps are three years. So Casita's doing better than scamp. <laughs> All right. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right, everybody. That's today's video. Give it a thumbs up. And here's a little decoration that her father made her out of an old propane tank. Good little idea. All right, see you on the next video. Bye.